Hey everybody, Brian here, Castle Hives. Do you know what's in this box? What is in the box? I am super excited to show you what I got today from Apame. All right, well, what I got from Apame and I spoke to uh, Korhan about this when I saw him at the uh, Honey in the Hills show, and I couldn't wait to get these when I saw these. Check this out. Now, you know, currently on Apame, they have two separate feeders. What this feeder will allow you to do, and I love this, watch this. You can take these off, okay? That's where you put your syrup, all right? But everybody that's been watching knows that I had a little bit of a dilemma in the winter where to put my fondant and then also where do I put my pollen patties. Look at this. They now have a center area in this feeder where you can put fondant, you can put a pollen patty, some type of supplement in there whatever you want so you can have the liquid feed along with your patty in here at the same time. Let's get this feeder installed on this Apame. Okay, this is gonna be very, very easy. Uh, all that we're simply gonna do is take these off and put that one on. So let me find my hive tool. And all you simply have to do, look at that. How beautiful is that? I love that. Now, I notice you still have vents along here. So the bees really, they are masters, you know, as far as controlling how much airflow. They will most likely propolize most of these slits on here. But, you know, if you look at this, if I want to add in some type of a pollen sub, or even just look down in here at the frames on, you know, how many bees are in here? Which frames are they covering? I can pull that open and look straight down here into this colony. Excellent way just to get a quick view of this colony. So really love these feeders. Apame, um, great company. Can't say anything you know, bad about the Apame products. So I will throw a link down in the video. Um, it's an affiliate link, doesn't cost you anything. I get a small little percentage though. So if you go and purchase some of these feeders, you'll be helping out my apiary and also helping out Apame, a great company. So let's get these wrapped up. I'm gonna get another one on my other Apame there. And then I'm gonna do a quick inspection for you guys on my seven frame nuke back there. So let's get this one wrapped up get the other one installed, and then uh, let's get to an inspection. So, and, and before I go back there, look at this. You can even close that off, have a little tray. Maybe you want to, you know, keep something in here, a tool, anything like that. So very, very handy. Love these new feeders here. I added in a second deep onto this colony. Uh, there's plenty of girls in this colony. Yep, they are starting. You can see the wax on them. And even on the next one, I can see, oh yeah, oh yeah, they're really starting here. Excellent. And there's a little cup there, nothing in it. Now, there are eggs on here. So let me see if let me get, everybody knows me with my new gadgets and toys and all that kind of stuff. Okay, now I have my Max C digital microscope and I want to just see if I can show you guys what eggs look like. Right there is an excellent view of an egg. You know, you can see how small they are. Um, just great view. I love this uh, little digital microscope here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the eggs. Look at that. That is so awesome to be able to see that in there. So really love uh, 
you know, technology. Everybody knows that I, I love my technology. So you see also how chill these uh, bees are here. Now, you know, they gave me a little bit of a, a gave me a little bit of an attitude last time I was over here, but they had ants up in their feeder and rightfully so. I mean, they had something bothering them. So, you know, bees by nature, you look at this right here and they are calm. You know, I'm standing here, I am in shorts, t-shirt with just my gloves and the veil, and they are calm. So, you know, and you look in here and I can see milk brood on there. So, excellent, excellent frame. That's what I want to see in here, is just this colony building out. Um, I probably will end up having to move this colony, though, to a larger box, um, you know, I want to keep the queen. Yeah, they're letting me know. They're wanting to swarm. You really have to be diligent with these hives. Oh, yeah, I see this here. They're building that out as well. Building this out. Yeah. Really nice colony. So, this colony is progressing along, you know, I, I do have uh, um, some other hive bodies that I can move this to. However, I would like to keep using this Apame 7 frame just to see how I can manage, uh, you know, a colony in this, uh, this type of a setup. Um, I probably will end up getting some supers just to stack up. So, but overall... You know, this colony is doing really well. It's building out. It was a late split from last year, um, overwintered as a seven frame setup. So, uh, can't, can't say enough about this setup right here. So, doing excellent. So, everybody, hopefully you like the video. Um, like I said, I'll throw in some affiliate links. Uh, so, you know, if you're interested in purchasing those feeders, definitely check them out. Um, so, appreciate a thumbs up. You know, if you like, uh, you know, just subscribe as well. It really helps out the channel. And uh, everybody, until the next time.